After seeing Whiplash, do you want to be a drummer like the main character? Because I don't know if I want to, or if I want to be anything that's successful or talented. Specifically talented. This is my review of Whiplash. I just saw the movie, and I have really mixed feelings about it. Like, I'm, I haven't seen the reviews yet, but I'm guessing it got really good reviews. I mean, I, I got a whiff of the reviews, and from what I heard, it's really positive. So I don't know if people feel the same way, but I have really mixed feelings about it. Like, really, really mixed feelings. So, in case you can't tell, this review is going to be full spoilers because I cannot explain why I'm so torn on this film without spoiling it. So if you haven't seen the movie yet, I strongly advise you don't watch this because you I'm going to ruin the last third of this movie for you. Or and and if I'm warning you now, also, if you love this movie, I envy you because I'm going to probably go into some sort of angry rant about the third act. And, but, let's get that out of the way. First off, I don't, I didn't hate the movie. I really liked it, but it could have been amazing. I, this could have been, like, one of the best, hands down, one of the best films of the year. Hands down, I'd so want this to be best picture, but... Man, does it go wrong in the third act. At least for me. I mean, it's totally subjective, but we'll get to that in a bit. So, real quick, I'm just going to sum up what the plot of the film is, in case you don't know. It's about this drummer. I can't remember his name right now. Sorry if it escapes me, but basically he has his drive. He wants to be successful. He wants to be the best like no one ever was, which, yeah, I totally went there. And... Now that I think about it, I think Monsters University did the whole success story better than Whiplash in some regards, but I digress. Anyway, he wants to be a success, and that's the movie, and his drum teacher is J played by J.K. Simmons. And there's a lot of really good stuff in this movie. Um, there's some really great motivational stuff. I loved a lot of J.K. Simmons mentoring the kid. I thought that was... I thought he... J.K. Simmons was phenomenal in this movie. Like, I loved his performance. He... Hopefully we'll get some sort of Best Actor nomination for it. I ho really hope he does. He was amazing. Really into it. He's a wonderful actor, and it clearly shines here. So many great insults he's throwing at him. Like, I love just how on and off he is. Like, you know, he's, like, nice, and he's, like, also really like, drill sergeant-y. Like, he's driving him, and it's just great. And visually, the film looks fantastic, and sounds so great, which is why it is so heartbreaking and frustrating when I get into that third act. It's like one of those movies where you're so one where I always hate the film where it's really good up until the last third because it would be one thing if it was just a not so great movie all around, but the fact that you literally were up here for like most of the movie, and then you go down here, it's like. Oh, really? Like, this could have been... You were doing so good. It's awesome. It's like... Ah. Uh, it's like... Seriously. It's like, imagine, like, someone you know. They're doing... Like, seriously. It's just... Like... Let me just get into why I didn't like the last word. So, there's a lot of stuff I don't like. So, first off, I, I think my biggest gripe with the film is that it's sending a really mixed message. And it really shines through in the third act. So, the whole point of this movie is it's like a success story about this kid who is becoming a dr drummer. And by doing so, he basically drives himself to be a success. And the problem with the film is that... And again, it would have been a great film, but they what they showed was the downside of that. Like, how much... Like, the cost, like the toll that you could take by just driving yourself too hard. And the problem is, rather than just address it or leave it ambiguous as to what's right and what's wrong, the film just completely embraces its success motivational theme. 
despite the fact that it had just showed some really negative consequences of driving yourself the way this kid drives. So rather than just being this one of those great, oh, you're going to drive yourself stories, it turns into this whole, do I really want this life? And the protagonist, you can kind of connect to him in his success and his frustration, but there comes a point in that third act, the third act, he is, I found him, I want to say he is because ever you know, film is subjective, but in that third act, I found him so unlikable. Like, oh my gosh, like, we're supposed to connect with this kid and root for him, but when you see how hard he's, how he's overworking himself, how the things he's pushing away, what he's sacrificing to get there, it's really hard to connect with him. Like, there's this one, and I, again, if the film I would be okay if the film didn't show that. If it didn't show the toll this kid was taking, I'll be okay with it. But the fact that so much time is taken out to show the negative consequences of what this kid's doing, and then not acknowledge it. The fact that the kid ignores it, he doesn't learn anything that, he just dismisses it and just continues to be a success, even when it's blatantly staring him in the face, these negative consequences, it's just hard to get invested. So let's work through this. So let's start with the first wrong sign. Now this was something that I bothered me, but I was willing to overlook it. But when the later stuff came, it came. It became really hard for me to ignore it. Which is that he has a girlfriend in the film, and it's very nice. But I would have honestly had that cut out just see how it goes because like it would be one thing if they realize they don't have much in common but he is such a dick to her like oh my gosh like it's like fucking a slap in the face like i mean we go from this like adorable kind of cute romance to like he just comes across so unlikable like, for one thing, they clearly have nothing in common, and, like, if the film had just sort of taken that route, I might have been a bit more leaning, but the fact is, it's so clear he's not even connected to her. First off, when he's dating her, he makes the conversation about himself a bit, and, oh, I love music. It's very clear he does, and I mean, like, rule number one, I have never dated a girl before. Fun fact about me, but even I know this. Don't make the conversation about you! Make it about her! Girl, people love to talk about themselves. Ask the girl about yourself. And it's very clear that she j kinda liked him and just... Oh my gosh. But yeah, the fact that he basically made it about himself. Then he breaks up with her. And it's not, and, it, and again, if it was like one of those, oh, we don't have anything in common what, things, it's like, okay, but first off, you only dated her w once, as far as we saw. We might have dated her a couple times, but but you're just deciding it's not working out. Like, you haven't even started a relationship. Like, you can still be friends. But anyway, even so, like, I mean, the fact that he... My biggest issue is that he pushes her away so he could focus on his drumming. Like, you are sacrificing your social life to be a drummer. That, how can you relate to that? That does not make him likable. That just makes me on distance from him. I mean, I mean, again, like, and that's like a reoccurring theme of this character is that the whole time is like, my biggest issue is just how willing he's willing to overwork himself and sh show and sacrifice all this shit just to be a drummer. It's like, is it really worth it? Like, I mean, it's hard to sympathize with him when you know he's pushed away girlfriends and friends just to be a drummer. And, like, cons the whole point of the film is to be a success, but when you see such costs, when the film is, like, literally showing stuff like this, how can you connect to them? How could you want to be this? And, yeah, so I would just have rather cut her out so we didn't have to see him pushing away his social life for this. 
And yeah, he feels bad about it when he calls her and realizes she has a boyfriend, but he still continues drumming. Like, he doesn't regret it. He just continues to go, and he's only calling her because he's showing up at his drumming thing. And then there's, like, another scene where he's... It's like, you're clearly overworking yourself. You're clearly taking this way too seriously. When he's, like, driving his car 90 miles an hour, talking on the phone while driving, gets himself in a car crash, and rather than that car crash being, like, a fucking wake-up call telling him, hey, maybe I should... Maybe I'm over-pushing myself. Is this really worth it? I almost got myself killed. Just like that other drummer my teacher was talking about, although we later find out he died for different reasons. But seriously, it's like... No, you, that was not even a fucking wake-up call for him. He's like, oh, whatever. And then, and fucking then, even when he crashes, he's like, oh, shit, I need to get to the music concert. Like, he's fucking on the clock. Like, he's not even like, oh, shit. Like, he's not even like, oh, like, he's not even the least bit phased by the fact that he's injured. He's not even... Like, the fact that he's not fucking dead is also ridiculous. The fact that... The fact that the guy next to him doesn't even bother to stop him or anything. The fact that we never even see him, like, paying for, like, the cab or whatever. The fact that we just glossed over that was fucking ridiculous. It's, like, so hard. And then, okay, here's what also fucking pissed me off. When his dad intervenes, he's like, son, you're pushing yourself through. I'm like, okay, is this the part where he's gonna learn? Because, you know, he brings up some good points. The teacher, his drum teacher, was so fond of and mourned. Turns out he committed suicide because of anxiety because his dad was pushing him so hard. So, Clark, and, you know, he almost got himself killed for a similar reason. But it still doesn't click. Nonetheless, despite that, he meets up with his teacher and continues to work with him. And... It also pisses me off. His father is fucking okay with this. His fucking father. This literally convinced him to f get this guy fired. Fired. Is like okay with him just working for him. And yeah, I mean, J.K. Simmons, like he says, he only wanted to lead great music. But it comes at a cost, and even the kids like at one point, is there such a thing as pushing too far? Yet he continues to push himself too far. It's like, you just showed that there's such a thing. Like, it's hard to sympathize with him. It's hard to sympathize with this kid. It's like, I mean, is it, I mean, I appreciate the film for trying to be brilliant and just show, giving this kid all this shit to go through, but it just didn't work out. And then also, like, there's some moments where he's an asshole. There's the part where, he, you know, he can't drum. And first off, the fact that his teacher would actually let him drum. Drum after. Like, he's clearly bleeding, messed up, in no condition to perform. Yet his teacher insists on letting him do so. And despite all that, lets him up on stage. And then even though... Like, I mean, I get it. The kids wound up, but still, like, he fucking punches his music teacher on stage, almost beats the shit out of him, and starts swearing at him. Like, he comes across like a five-year-old. And while I like J.K. Simmons, it's like, he's overdriving his students. Oh, yeah, and then, oh, yeah, then there's the fact where the main character fucking shows his teacher up on stage at the end, and while I get it, it's like, even when he was on his side at the end, he was still fucking dicking with him. It's like, what the hell? And then J.K. Simmons, like, when he has him join his music band just so he can kick him out, I'm like, really, really... Like, I mean, it would be one thing if this was just another test to prove him, like, the final test. But at the same time, it, it, no, it wasn't. He was fucking getting back at him for getting him fired. So it just bothers me when he goes from hating him to smiling at him. It's like, what the fuck is this? So, yeah, in case you can't tell, I love... I don't hate the film. I, 
like two thirds of it. It's just the third fucking act just pisses me off so much because it's like send it. This whole film is about inspiring yourself. Yet it just makes the main character feel so unlikable in that last third, and it just shows how he's pushing himself hard, sacrificing his social life, and just clearly overdriving himself. And yet the film just and yet we're supposed to like him and root for him. So would I recommend this film? I mean, go see it. I mean, it film is subjective. I mean, we all have that one film we like, everyone else hates. So. Don't let my review stop you. We all have that one film. This is it for me. I mean, judge it for yourself. I mean, I don't know. Like, the first two thirds of it are good, but... Yeah, not the last third. So, I will have a written review, although keep in mind it's probably going to be saying most of the same shtick I said here. And yeah. Oh my gosh. Oof. Man, I have... I got some serious... Thing. Man, I'm so fucking angry. Well, hopefully Mockingjay... No, Mockingjay's not going to leave me in better suit. It's just going to... Oh my gosh, I'm seeing Mockingjay on thurs Thursday night, and I really hope it doesn't get me any more anxiety. Yet. But yeah, that's my review. I mean, I appreciate the film for its ambition, and, you know, it was an ambitious third act. I felt like it kind of flopped a bit, but, you know, it was very clear the filmmakers were trying. Like, it was... They were taking risks... <laughs> And I appreciate the risk, but at the end, I think the risk hurt the film more than harped it. So, I mean, I liked it. It was still an interesting film. It's just, I just found it a little hard to connect to him at times. And I just wish the film just hadn't supported the kid's goal so much. So, see this film if you want. But, yeah. And if you've seen the film and disagree with me, please, like, put something in the comments rationalizing it. Because I'd love to hear your defense. Like, and please don't call me an idiot. Please don't insult me. Like, again, we, if you're going to insult me, keep in mind this. We all have that one film. We all have that one film that everyone loves, but we just don't agree with everyone on. So... Just remember that there's a movie that people might call you something nasty for. So if you're going to say something like that, just keep that in mind. But yeah. But, but yeah, again. And I'm not going to shoot you down. And I'm not going to insult you if you have defense to say. Like, again, I'm legitimately interested to hear if you have a defense for it. But yeah, that's my thoughts. So I'm done talking about Whiplash. And yeah. So this is JSTARS260. Signing out, and I need to go relax because, woof. Man, did I get stressed out ranting. Take care.